Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and I have a kind of a mini haul for me, but it is sort of a huge haul because I have tons of stuff, but I sort of tried to pick out less stuff because my my husband and my son are starving, but I came home and I had pretty decent makeup on and I was like, I'm just going to do a haul because as soon as we're done eating dinner, I just want to put my jammies on and relax. I have had a really long day, but I did go to Dollar Tree, so I have even more stuff to share with you guys. That's so cool, um, but it's not in this haul because I got to get through this haul. I just got done um, doing my giveaway, so hopefully you guys... Well, there's only one winner, and uh, I actually completely forgot something Frederick. I don't want to say because I can't remember her first name. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to write it above. But I did make the announcement already. Hopefully you won. If you did, congratulations. Congratulations to the winner. During this video, I'm going to announce the secret passcode for my next giveaway. And then um, during this week... I'm going to do a short video showing you guys everything that's going to be in my next giveaway. And also, I'm going to probably add more things as time goes on. I have not exactly decided whether I'm going to make it one video that you guys have to watch to um, put the passcode in or, or the secret code for the giveaway or whatever people call it, the giveaway word or phrase or whatever. But you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I'm like a dinghy sometimes. So uh, anyhow, um, I do want to get this haul started because there's a lot and the boys are hungry. So I have to feed them and, and they're like basically probably going to barge in here and demand dinner sooner than later. So I do want to show you guys some really cute baskets that I've gotten at the Dollar Tree and let you know what my thoughts on some of them are. Now, I'm sure I'm sure you guys have seen these because, you know, pretty much every Dollar Tree sells them and they're like a Dollar Tree staple. They were in my thumbnail. They're so adorable, but I don't know if you guys realize that you literally can turn them inside out. So let's say you have a baby's room and you want to put a plant in it or something. You can probably just put this in a baby's room or if it matches somewhere in your house. Literally, I would put a plant in here. I j not in here, you know, put the whole pot in it because I think it's cute. Like depending on what the deck, maybe in your bathroom or and the other one is pink. If you have like a little girl's room or whatever, like when you turn it inside out, it actually just looks like a fabric little pail that you could put whatever you want inside of. So instead of just throwing them away after Easter, you can always, you know, recycle them because they're literally sewn fabric. And I hate wasting stuff. Um, so I just thought that I would suggest that. It's better that you make use out of it than it end up in a landfill. The bunny is really, really cute though. And I just think it's an awesome you know, little storage container after Easter. And I did buy them for the shelter. I, I bought a lot of baskets, but I definitely picked up quite a few of these because they're kind of good storage. I feel like kids can put like stuff in them and hang them off of a door or whatever. They're foldable. They can move if they're moving. They'll probably keep them and put crayons, pencils, whatever in them. But they're really... um convenient because they do smush down so I do like that about them and then of course I picked up a bunch of the mermaid baskets because they're just mermaid and then summer's coming so of course you can you know do something with these I mean this is just so cute I could see little girls just wanting to carry these around because they don't even seem like Easter baskets in a way they're like a prelude to summer they're so cute. Or you can hang them off of a wall. Like, you know, put some hooks in the wall and hang them on a wall. And, like, have the kids put storage in them. Because they do bend in a way that you can kind of change their look. And you could put stuff in them. Like, little girl's shoes. Whatever. They're still reusable after Easter. There's no reason to throw them away. They're stitched. 
and they're polka dotted on the inside. So again, you could, if you wanted to, turn these inside out as well. But I just think that they're kind of amazing for a dollar made of fabric like this. In high-end stores, baskets like this are not a dollar. You pay like anywhere between eight and $10 for a stitched, it's not even just glued, it's stitched um, fabric basket. You can, if you have a Cricut, put the kid's name on it and personalize it and use it year after year. And now this one is literally just burlap. And everyone has been buying those sock cut, um, sock covers, those like pot covers that look like book covers from the Dollar Tree to cover your flower pots. This one literally just has a sticky bunny on it that you could take off and the glue, I'm just showing you, it just so happens to be damaged, but the glue, I mean, that literally does not even leave a mark. You can peel the glue right off. It's like hot glued on. And then you tuck the handles in and you literally have like this really cool, neutral burlap planter to embellish. You can add tassels to this. I actually think I might do that with this one. Um, no, I'm not going to. I'm of course going to give it to the shelter, but maybe after Easter, I might buy one if there's any left on clearance and do that because that's so cute. You can like put tassels on it and put it on your shelf and put junk in it and people can't see what's in there. I love that. Or put some nautical rope on the top of it and on the bottom of it. I mean, after the kids are done with this, I, it's just, I'm not giving my son a pink basket and you know, whoever I give this to is not going to let me have it, but I'm not going to waste it on myself. But I do think it's definitely worth upcycling if you're using it on your own kids. And oh, maybe I'll get my son a blue one like this. And then he doesn't care what Easter basket I give him. And then I, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I can use it for storage in my bathroom. I'll make it nautical looking and then put stuff in it. I just, I just love that it's just really literally burlap it's so cool yeah it's a really cute thing for storage and then of course i picked up so many but i'm just gonna share some with you they do have these really big plastic ones they are a really good size like literally that's the size it's a big size i don't know how else to put it to you but it's you could you can make pasta in here if it was a pot and they do have um they do have like blue ones also and boy ones but i didn't really pick any that i felt were like boy or girlish in this one because i don't know what they're going to put in more than likely these big plastic ones are going to be for the stuff that i bring or that other shelters bring to put inside of it for the kids to pick through and then the softer baskets will probably be the ones that the kids use right from the get-go to fill with. So, and then these will eventually get empty and people will start will start taking them. But um, I'm trying not to get those in any, because it's like a bunny or a chick. There's no like, like pink or, you know, anybody, a boy or a girl can take that. And uh, I am going to buy some more soft ones that are more boyish as time goes on. Along the whole... Easter themed merchandise that I got from the Dollar Tree. I did pick up more signs and I, you guys know I cannot pick. So I love this one. The hunt is on because I love this yellow. Like I love it. It's so cute and it looks like it's like distressed. When they do that, that makes me so happy. And this, and then this one says this chick is ready for Easter again. I just love that. It's so cute. Again, distressed. So it looks like it's been weathered in your grandma's backyard. And then there's one more. Very cute. Blue. And it says, Fo follow the bunny. He has the chocolate. And all three of them are really cute. I cannot choose. So I don't know. I just don't know where I'm going. I've bought like every sign at this point. I just can't choose. So in the end, I'll probably just put up like two or and two, two or three outside and just end up bringing everything else to the shelter. And then they, they have a lot more space to decorate in. But I, I have no idea which way I'm going. 
with my Easter decorations because they have made so many cute signs this year that it's really hard to choose. And, then, and also they have these, and these are crazy adorable because I don't normally, I'm kind of over the truck, but hot pink truck, I am not over. This is like, my goodness, do I love this. It says, it says Cottontail Farms open daily, a dollar a dozen, this way to the bunny trail. But it's hot pink glitter. And it comes off. I don't care about that. I love it. Love, 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 love. Hot pink. And then I love this blue too. Again, it would be very hard to choose. And at least they're pointing in separate directions. Like this way, this car is going to the carrot patch. This car is going to the cottontail farms. So if I end up wanting to use both of them, it won't look too crazy. I mean, I guess it kind of will, but I don't know. And it says 25 cents each locally grown open daily carrot patch. I, I love it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I would choose. I imagine I just don't want any of them in the end. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Let the shelter have them all because I, I just can't decide. It, it would not surprise me. All so nice. It's, it's really going to be hard. The, this Easter, I feel like they made more Easter signs than they made Christmas signs. Or maybe I didn't like as many of the Christmas signs or, oh, I gave away a lot of Christmas signs. Mm, there's not a lot of shelters that are decorating for Easter spring kind of stuff. So I'm going to be hard pressed to be able to unload them in a way, but I honestly cannot choose. I don't know how other people do it where they go and they're like, oh, I definitely don't want that sign. And I just definitely want this one. I cannot decide when I'm in the store. I, I literally, if I had to choose between that blue one and that pink one, let's say, I can't. I don't know which one I like better. I just... I have such a hard time choosing. Does anyone else have that problem? Like, what do you guys do? Like, what ultimately do you flip a coin? Do you ask like someone else? Sometimes I'm like, uh, John, like my husband who probably could care less and he'll just be like, yeah, I don't know how. Sometimes he'll be like, oh no, that's so nice. Like, and, and that's when I'm like, wow, even my husband likes it. It must be nice. And it's at that point that I'm like, wow, this must be the best thing I've ever bought from the Dollar Tree. But for the most part, I don't know. This year they've made so many cute signs. I do know that I love the one from last year that has the bunny butts in a row and it just says welcome in that like pink, yellow. That's probably my favorite sign, believe it or not. And I'm definitely going to have to use the welcome one that my dog chewed up because I can't give that to anyone. Um, I don't know. That was in my last video. Max ate one of the signs. I just don't know. I have no idea which way I'm going to go with this, but I can't use 40 signs. I've bought so many that thank God I give things to the shelter. Or I don't know what I would do with all these signs. There's just too many. I can't decide. And the next two pieces that I found that are seasonal decor, I have to gift because I couldn't find... Mine or my husband's, well, this is my husband's initial, J, if you think it's a J. And if you think it's a T, no, it was up for debate in the store. Nobody could tell. And I polled everyone and it was like 50-50. Some people thought J, some people thought T. So I feel like it could go for either one. But this is undoubtedly an S. And now that I'm looking at it because it's flipped on my phone camera, it looks like a P and it could have been salt and pepper, but it's not salt and pepper. Um, but, uh, what do you call it? Now I'm thinking of like songs by Salt and Pepper. That's how my brain goes. So up oh, already out of whatever. I completely forgot what I was going to say, but I couldn't find our initials. It's really hard to find your initial. Let me know in the, in the comments down below if you were lucky enough to find your actual initials, but I really wanted them because I thought they would be so cute in cupcake stands because I do have these cupcake stands that I love that are in pastel colors from Target that I bought a couple years ago and I bust them out during Easter and I'm really dying to figure out what on earth I'm putting on them and everything I look at I'm like oh yeah they could go on my cupcake stand so they're not going on mine because I couldn't find our initials but they are made of like clay or ceramic so be careful with them 
but they are really great for a dollar. These are not a dollar at the Christmas tree store or anywhere else where they offer stuff like that. So I think it's a pretty awesome thing to find for a buck. And then I did get their little felt uh, cutie decor pieces because more than likely uh, I will be making more outdoor pillows for my rocking chairs for the spring with these. I just love to do that with these. They work out really well for me. Um, I hot glue them. I think they'll look cute actually for the spring with these on them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I bought the silver pillows from or gray pillows from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make those and stick them on the rocking chairs. I think they're very Eastery and cute. And I really love, I love their felt decor pieces for that re reason. Because they, they stay put. They're not going to go anywhere. And then in the summer, I'm going to get... I'm for summer I'm gonna get nice outdoor pillows because I actually sit out there but it's still gonna be too cold maybe a couple of days in the morning but it's okay I mean they're still gonna be comfortable I just like to have um you know pillows year-round on those rocking chairs because it looks cute as opposed to just having naked rocking chairs outside of the house and then um do I have more Easter stuff these are not Easter items. These are part of their spring collection, but I'm obsessed with them. I don't know what I'm doing with them, but I'm definitely doing something with them. Uh, I love, love, love these signs. It says, keep life simple, keep life simple. You can break these up and make coasters with them, which is the honest truth. When I first bought these, I was thinking about making coasters because I need I need coasters. My table that I currently have is made of wood. My like food table that we eat at, it's not tile. My old table used to be made out of actual Mexican Talavera tile, but it was just too big. When we moved here, we never changed it out, but it was way too big for this house and we had to like walk around it. So um, my, my co-op used to be much bigger than my tiny beach house. So, um, you know, we traded up and we traded down in some areas. It is what it is. So um, I did buy all of these cute signs because I wanted to make coasters out of them. And I still might make coasters out of them. But then I found coasters that match my placemats. And, you know, you can use the decoupage stuff that's dishwasher safe for stuff like this to seal it up and it becomes a really good coaster. This sign is like literally screaming to be a coaster or a banner because it doesn't even have words. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. It's so cute. I mean, I had to buy these because they're just like pioneer woman stuff. They remind me of pioneer woman. And then I started thinking about like, what else can I do with them? Because like this print, I'm obsessed with it. It says celebrate everything. I agree. And I love, love, love this print with the butterflies in it. Celebrate everything. So there's three different kind and I got all three of them. And then I started thinking that maybe, and this might sound crazy, but I started thinking that I would put them on a dresser front. Now, I mean, my husband and I, we do kind of like, upcycle like furniture sometimes that I just that people sometimes do, like little furniture nothing big but um usually it's like or the truth is I don't even like to take furniture donations I like to when I'm driving around and I see like a little little dresser or like a little little chest or like a little piece of furniture in the trash that I think is perfect for someone that moves a lot or is moving into a tiny studio apartment I like to take that piece of trash home and paint it or upcycle it and have it ready so that when in the normal world, I have women come to my storage unit and I have storage units that have like a storage unit at this point that has like furniture in it and stuff like that. Now I got rid of my storage unit because it was just people can't come there now. So um, I had, I you know, once the whole COVID thing started, I had to get rid of my storage unit. It was way too expensive to keep it for nothing and I have everything in the van so I've like given things to people over the last year basically and it's dwindled down but now that the weather's changing I might do it for a little while I mean I do plan on moving so I'm kind of in this weird gray area where I'm taking in a little bit 
but I'm trying not to take in too much. But still, if somebody needs something and I can kind of make it happen, I will. So, um, like furniture wise, but I was thinking that if you get like a, like a small kind of dresser, which I do find actually a lot out here, you can probably put these in the drawer panel and then put the knobs like right through it. I, and then literally polyurethane over it. But I could see doing that because they're actually like hard cardboard, but there's a lot of stuff that people buy to embellish furniture, uh, like, you know, MDF type furniture that is literally equivalent to something like this. And if you polyurethane over this and you paint a piece of furniture, this is really cute. So I actually might make a set of coasters, but I might keep the completely plain one for furniture upcycle. I just think they're pretty amazing. I think they're really, really pretty. And they're definitely cute for like a birthday party or something like that. But like celebrate everything. This is a, just so beautiful to have. Um, even if you just cut it off and, and you pop it into one of those easels that the Dollar Tree sells and just put it on your desk or something. Or you can make it into, I don't know, you can glue them together and make it into like a planter box or something. They're perfectly square. They're so cute and pretty. There's so many things you could do with these that I just, like, I like to take things and make them into other things, but I don't like to, like, paint them. Or if I'm going to buy it, to because if I need wood, I'm going to go buy wood. I don't like to buy things at the Dollar Tree and paint them to make them into, like, wood signs. I know people love to do that, but I always, my husband, you know, still cuts wood or whatever. We have tons of wood. If I need a sign or I'll just go to the reuse store and buy an old cabinet door or something that'll be like wood wood for like a cup, like $2. So I don't really like painting Dollar Tree signs to make other signs. It's very rare that I do that. I have to like ruin it or something like that in order to want to do that. But I just love the actual um, print and style of these. And I feel like I'm going to make something really cute with them. So more will be revealed on this one. But I feel like now that I've put it out into the universe, I'm going to be driving around tomorrow and I'm going to find the perfect like little dresser that'll have like little grooves in it probably that will, I just know because that kind of stuff always happens to me where I'll just be like, oh, this would be so cute in a dresser. And then a week later, I'll just be driving and boom, there it is. A cute little dresser that has like little squares just waiting for this to go inside of it. I know I've gone on and on and on about it, but I'm just saying those kind of things do happen to me. Do you guys have those things happen to you where you just start thinking about something and then it like appears or like you learn a new word and then all of a sudden you hear it all the time or someone will tell you like about a new restaurant or something. Well, when people used to enjoy things like that in New York, but they'll like, or some type of food that you've never heard of before. And then every time you turn around, you're hearing it or you go to the store and people are like talking about that. And you're like, Whoa, what is that? It's so crazy how the universe does that sometimes. And it always makes me think that I'm supposed to like, you know, find it, you know, follow through and get more information on it or taste that food or, you know, definitely make that piece of furniture because that's the next step for you. Like, that's how I feel like life leads us down paths or at least, I don't know, that's kind of my theory on life. But anyway, that's enough about that too. I did pick up these gorgeous, gorgeous plates. I did pick up napkins too. I know I did. Where are my napkins? Oh, you know what? I picked those up in a different store. That's what happened. I was like so happy that I found them. I remember now. I remember now what happened. But I, honestly, I can never have enough fancy schmancy napkins. Or, um, I mean, I, do, I did splurge on the plates. I did not need these plates. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's just 12 in a pack. I'm not having a party anytime soon, but... I mean, there's birds all over these plates and there's butterflies all over these plates. I couldn't not buy them. I am psyched about having them and I'm going to put them in my cabinet 
And on a day where maybe we're going to eat outside or do a pic or just whatever, just a day that I feel like I want to eat off of a butterfly or bird plate because it will make me happy. A salad off of this plate will make me happy. It'll be like, yay, I'm so happy. I'm eating healthy and I'm eating off of happy plates. That's like double. And when, I mean, that's like a blessing right there. Like if you're super happy when you're eating, you probably digest your food better. And you could just, this is like, this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy. So, and I don't have to wash dishes. And in case you guys have really been watching my channel, you know that I hate de dealing with dishes or dishwasher. And in my house, in this house, I definitely had to um, accept having, I don't have a farmhouse sink or anything like that. My sink is not super deep and it's not super big or double, double side sink. And I'm used to having one of those double sinks that in my old house, I had a really not a huge kitchen, but it was so well planned and thought out because I changed my kitchen because I lived there a long time and had Mexican Talavera backsplash that I chose and I loved. And I had like dark wood cabinets, which I actually prefer. I do not like light wood cabinets. I know everybody does. It's not my thing. I love dark wood cabinets, Mexican Talavera tile. That is my total thing. And I had a deep double sink that meant you didn't have to wash your dishes all the time. If you didn't feel like washing your dishes that night and you wanted to do them in the morning, you weren't scuzzy. But in this house, if you don't do your dishes, like every time you do them, they just pile up because it's, do you guys have a sink like that? And this house has, um, the countertops are made out of quartz or yeah quartz whatever like or not granite the better one so I'm not gonna like take that countertop out to replace the sink and I just at first I thought it would be not that hard to do but then I looked into it and it was really hard to do so I stuck with this stupid little sink that makes me hate hate dishes <laughs> so I love throw away plates. I know it's kind of like decadent, but I can't help myself. Those are my personal days of treating myself to uh, like watching TV earlier or whatever. So when I did see these napkins and although they're kind of like a splurge also, I had to buy them because they're really pretty napkins. And I don't know, I can also use them in baskets. I was kind of thinking that I can use them for gift giving as well. There are 16 napkins in each package and they come in all these beautiful colors. And I just kind of thought that those little buckets that I bought, um, I mean, I probably will use them like napkins, but the little buckets that I got that I'm not, the ones that I'm not going to bring to the shelter because I'm not gonna put tissue in them and I'm not gonna be able to make them in advance for gifts for people. They've made it really clear, but those little metal buckets, but for my own like friends and family, instead of buying like tissue paper and stuff, I just thought it would be cute to put a couple of these napkins in. Like, so when you open it, why is it so hard to open this package and <laughs> tissue? It's crazy. But um, so they're white on the inside when you open them. And then if you take another one, like this is the blue one, right? If you take like a pink one and you put them both together and then you put it in the bucket, it'll look like, see the scalloped edge of it? It'll be so cute sticking out of the bucket. And so it's kind of like tissue paper, but actually you get a lot more and it'll fit in the bucket really cute. So I kind of was thinking along those lines. I was like, those will be so cute for the buckets. Plus I could use some for napkins to make myself happy. Cause I mean, that's more than enough. There are 16 in each package. So we'll use some napkins. I'll make the buckets. And yeah, I love cute napkins. I can't resist a pretty napkin. I just can't. So I thought that was kind of like a score. And there's no rule that says that you can't put a napkin in as a liner in your basket. Because it, it looks like pretty tissue paper. And even if the people know that it's a napkin, who cares? Like, I, I would be happy if somebody gave me that. I would think it was beautiful. And I love these colors. I love, love, love every one of these colors. They're just so pretty. And the next super cute party kind of spring item that I picked up, and I got to be honest, I'm not sure what I bought these for because, I mean, they're obviously straws. And you're supposed to drink out of them. They're paper straws. 
and they're so pretty that maybe, maybe, maybe I will actually use them as straws because I hate paper straws. And I know you're not supposed to say that because it's like totally unacceptable to not care about the sea creatures, but I cannot stand drinking out of paper straws. And that's why I like to have the, the reusable plastic ones. And sometimes I can't stand those too. I honestly love a good old fashioned straw. And that's the truth. But these are gorgeous. I feel like if I'm just going to have a drink in the backyard or something like that, I'm not going to let it get, it's going to be hot and I could use one of these and it won't fall apart so quickly because I'll drink it quickly. But like, in the winter time where you don't drink as fast and these straws get yucky and mushy and then you drink it, it's like, oh, I hate that. Oh my God, I hate that. But I kind of thought maybe I could do some kind of DIYing with them or embellish something with them or I don't know, but they're gorgeous. Like I was like, you know what? Just buy them because you'll think about something later because I thought about maybe, I don't know. I just thought about using them in, in like, some kind of embellishing of those wooden cutouts and stuff. But then I was like, even if I don't use them for that, I will use them as straws. Worst case scenario, if I'm going to have something to drink at home. But I would never put this in my travel cup. No way. I don't like it sitting in my car. Oh, yuck. I hate drinking it. Does anybody else hate paper straws as much as I do? I'm not saying I demand a regular straw. I'm just saying I hate paper straws. And then mega, mega, mega wish list item that I picked up in the spring section that I did buy. <laughs> you would think that I was having a big old backyard barbecue. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so done with being under quarantine and I'm just so over the whole thing. But I'm not because I'm still doing it. But I, I'm just constantly planning for fun in the future. But I did buy, I think, 10 of these all together. I don't even know why. I love them though. And not for nothing, but wooden cutlery is expensive. They're disposable, but you can, um, these are biodegradable, you guys. You can actually, when you're done eating with these, put them in the dirt, but you can actually use them like, they're so cute for this. And this is why I thought it was so cute. We can use them, like we can use them. I'm hoping to use them maybe in some kind of like social distance pool party if I can figure out like or something in the summertime at my house and then instead of throwing them away you can use them in your plants to like label like what it is you just stick it in the dirt how cute is that that's like recycling in the super cutest way ever plus you're eating off of it plus they're so darn adorable I mean I am in love love with these but I actually was thinking how cute they would be to write like thyme, basil, oregano on them. And just like, how cute is that? They're wooden utensils. I mean, I love them. I love the idea of using them as like markers for time on a kitchen clock. I don't know. I just love the idea of using them for a million things because I actually had wooden utensils a while ago and I did do a bunch of stuff with them. I mean, I don't have them anymore, but I love wooden utensils. They're really expensive. And I don't remember Dollar Tree ever having them. Um, I actually, the wooden utensils, I got from like some shishi party I went to. So I just had like mine and my husband who I was dating at the time. And I was like, don't throw your utensils away. Put that in my pocketbook. I want to make something out of them. And he was like, they're, they're disposable. I was like, I'm not throwing mine away. So you better give him a double lick and put it in my purse. And he was like, okay, dear. <laughs> and then I did, I made them into really cute little like country markers. I just thought, and they were like really the old fashioned like style. They weren't like pineapple embellished. They were like the wooden ones that look like old school, like carved out. Very cute also, but I just love them. I, I bought a bunch because they make me happy and I'm going to definitely use them in the summer at the very least to eat off of during summertime barbecues. I just think they're fantastic. These were 50 cents for some strange reason. I didn't think they were going to be 50 cents, but I just picked them up because they were Snuggadoos and ah, sometimes my Snuggadoo socks, after I wash them a few times, they just get gross and I don't want them anymore and then I toss them, but... Um, 
I was like, ooh, those look like they're really, really comfy and cozy. And I grabbed them. And when I went to the register, they were 50 cents. Is it because they're, were these part of the Valentine? I have no idea why they were 50 cents, but I was like, okay, I'll take that. Totally random. I'm literally putting things out of the bag at this point, but I did pick up their full size, super heavy duty, um, 24 pack of utensils because these are actually really good. These are um, just the spoons, and I love these. I love them for, like, if you're eating ice cream late at night. My husband does, and I just think that that's, like, perfect for not making a mess in the middle of the night, and they don't break because they're super heavy duty. So I did pick up two of these. That's for $2.48 super heavy duty spoons. I just, I just love them. I love them. I know I recycle in so many other ways, but I do love disposable dishes and stuff like that. Maybe when I move and I have like a bigger place and I'm not always breaking everything or when I have a bigger kitchen in my next house, I won't be like this. But in this house, I am definitely like that. The less, the better. I just need to get in and out of this kitchen. It's not very perfectly functional. I, I didn't like the layout of it. But I didn't realize until I moved in. And have you ever had like that situation where you got to a place and you were like, wait a minute, this layout sucks. I Every time I try to get my dishes out of the cabinet, they end up smashed on the counter because it's a really hard stretch. And the sink isn't really big enough for my pots. And it's a very cute bungalow, but it's for like a couple that's downsizing. And my son is still living with us. He We're not, we're not empty nesters yet. So... It's just not the right fit, but I do love this area. The, I did in my walkthrough show you guys so many beautiful banners that they have, and I could not resist this welcome spring one. I just couldn't resist it. It's so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, with that really pretty print that I love and the super tacky gold glitter. I just love it. So I had to get it. And maybe that'll be my Easter aesthetic. Maybe I'll do spring instead of Easter because there's so much. Cute. I don't even know. My brain is going into like overload. Too much cute stuff. It's so hard to pick. It's so hard to pick. Next, pick up these see-through um, trivets or glass. What are they called? Like cutting boards because I did have... Oh, this, I did have this. You guys are like, what the heck is that, Marina? This I cut out of, if you guys remember, my um, Dollar Tree canvas. I cut this out of a Dollar Tree canvas. And I was going to do a Valentine DIY with it because I just love, you guys saw that during Valentine's, I really like making like these kind of colors. I love I love that whole bohemian mandala valentiney look. But then I was like, you know what? I don't want it to be Valentine's. I kind of love this canvas so much, but it just, I didn't have a place for it in my house. It doesn't really go anywhere in the house per se. And I don't, it's too small for like any of the walls that I have in this place. And I wasn't going to do a gallery wall because I forbid myself to make any holes in the wall. And kind of my husband did too when he just had to repaint. So I decided that I'm going to do like something like that with it and then I'm going to put like stones and then Jenga blocks to make it stand up a little higher and it'll be like a trivet on my table but I'll probably show you guys what I'm going to do with it because it's going to be super cute. Um, I just well you can't tell because there's a stupid sticker right in the middle but oh duh I could do it like that duh Marina but um, yeah it's going to be really cute. I'm really excited about how it's going to look because that's so me. And um, I actually secretly love how these straws look. I was thinking about using them in the background and then making it like that, like cutting them, because I love how they kind of match this, but it wouldn't work because they would get mushy. But that was like one of the reasons why I picked them up. It wouldn't work though. But I will find something to do with those straws because they're gorgeous. And then you can actually make tassels out of those straws. That's like another thing that I've been thinking about, but I'm going to hold off on letting you guys know about that because that's going to be part of my whole tassel making obsession. So 
pretend I didn't say that. That was my ADHD at, at its best. That was going to be my big secret that I just blurted out like that. Maybe I'll edit it out. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I don't. And then in the spring section, I found these and I love these. They make these every year. And I don't think that they're the same prayers. Uh, I don't remember them at least. I don't know what happened to mine actually, because we moved around a lot of things um, this year. But I did have them like in my coffee area and now I have like a designated coffee area. And even though it sounds really cheesy because it's just like between my door and my table, I actually do have like a little rack above my, you couldn't see it in my video because it's higher up, but maybe I'll share it with you guys that I keep like some books in and my journals that I've been finding lately, one of which is in my um, giveaway because I found a second one of that really cute journal that I'm obsessed with that I hold, uh, inner, inner thoughts or whatever. I'll, I'll share the, the whole thing of everything in my haul, but these prayer cards are actually cute to put like in your coffee station or whatever. And I mean, I just like the idea of like in the morning when I'm having my coffee, just trying to like focus on some positive thoughts for the day because you know, we watch the news. It's so upsetting and depressing, but it's like, I like to read something positive every day, even if it's just for one second. And so it says today's prayer. Oh, I guess that's what they want us to do with them. Yeah, I thought I was being so innovative. But then, and there's two different kind. And then this one, I'll just read one to you guys. It says, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. Lamentations 322. Now, I'm not like super religious, or like, I don't read the Bible every day, but I do love the idea of being able to consume some small tidbit of positivity while I'm having my coffee in the morning. I like that. I think it like sets the tone for the day. And on days when like I'm rushing to get out of here or whatever, and I don't get a chance to do that, I feel like my days don't go as well. So it doesn't have to be um, scripture. It could be like a meditation or it could be like that journal, which is why I brought the whole thing up. Those journals have like, and then I found the like Zen as bleep journal, but then I found another Zen journal. Uh, I can't think of the name of that one, but they all have like these little um, suggestions for you to like become insightful or whatever, but it's really just a, a, a really beautiful way to become like a little introspective, but in a good positive way, instead of like focusing on all the stuff that we could get so negative over going on in the world. I like to try to keep my brain in some sort of a positive space because life can be very, very complicated. And I do love the actual card print is so colorful and joyous. And then this one has like feathers and it's so beautiful. Let's open this one up and take a look at it also. Um, it is just really pretty. It says today's prayer. And then I, lo I love, love, love that. So, or you know what? Like if I'm having coffee with my husband and we're just sitting at the coffee table, I like to play like, prayer card divination. Like I'll be like, pick a card, any card and help, you know, pick a card and I'll be like, okay, let's pray together. And grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus, our Lord. Okay. So even if we're not going to sit and think about it a lot, but if we both are like consuming that information together, I just think that there's nothing bad about it. Like, it's like a really nice thing to do really, really early in the morning. We're becoming like super old fogies that wake up at the crack of dawn and have like our first cup of coffee sometimes before the sun even comes up. So we need more and more things to do in the morning. And if that's something I found to do, what's the harm? It's just a couple dollars. I did pick up a couple for my in-laws as well because I felt like they might enjoy doing the same thing in the morning. I think that... um the whole like uh, prayer card divination in the morning is fun to see like, it's almost like, what do I need? What does, what does the universe want me to hear today? What does God want me to hear today? And so I love these. I think they're fun. I really actually do. I really, really love them. 
And I love that the Dollar Tree makes stuff like that. Next items that I found are these coasters. They're tile, I, which is why I'm not making the other things into coasters because I always see these, but I've never seen four in one place. And I've never just said, ah, let me just pick up one and then go to another store and get, I'm always like, nah. And I bought the placemats that go with them. And you guys know that I love that. So when I saw them fresh and new all out and sitting there, I was like, okay, it was meant for me to get them. So I picked up four and then I was like, ah, I guess I'm not going to make coasters out of those other really pretty things. And now I have to find something else to do with them. And I will, because I do really love that beautiful spring print. I feel like it's very pioneer womany. And then again, completely random. I'm pulling things out at random at this point. I did pick these up. I picked up, I picked these up actually in abundance and they do have like, see, it has like a stretchy head so you can like sponge yourself or scrubby. It's really, really cute. They're so cute for Easter basket fillers. I picked up a bunch of them. They come in this unicorn or this kitty, or maybe that's a fox. I think it's a fox, right? Is it a fox? It's a fox, but they're gorgeous. So cute these are. And then I did pick up a bunch of these as well. Also, I think they're so adorable. And there is one blue one, but um, I did, I think I got 16 of them all together, but they don't have a lot of blue ones. They just, they're like, you know, in those hanging things. And they had a lot of them, but they have like out of every four, one of them is blue. So I'm sure boys will take the blue one or their moms maybe will pick it. Who knows? I don't think kids will pick it, but the moms will pick this. So, and maybe they'll give it to their kid or use it to bathe them. So maybe it doesn't matter, but they're so cute, these sponges. This one is a bunny. It's absolutely adorable. And then this one is, I think, a puppy or I think it's a dog, maybe a bear, maybe a dog. And then this one is a unicorn with a floppy horn, but still a unicorn. It's like a charging unicorn. <laughs> and then this one is a piggy. So cute. I could totally see a little boy taking the piggy. I mean, honestly, they're all really adorable. The little boy could even want the bunny. They could want any of them. They're really nice. They have like a little bit of a kind of a rougher back to like a little bit scrubby, but not really. They're just nice. They don't look like a dollar. They seem like very good quality sponges for bathing. So I think that that's a very nice thing for a basket stuffer. And then I did pick up, I didn't get a case of these bunnies. I don't think that they're very great quality at all. Um, but I'm showing them to you guys because what I like about this bunny is that if you're going to do like a flower arrangement or something like that, this bunny has the perfect butt. Because I looked at all the bunny butts and I think that this is like the perfect bunny butt to have a bunny diving into your garden and to add a, a pom-pom tail to. In case anybody out there wants to do something like that, because you can have the ears sticking out backwards so that they could be sticking out and showing because they're literally sewn on that way. And his he's got the perfect bunny butt. So yeah, that's why I picked him actually because his ears are sewn on backwards so he could have like ears sticking out and be diving into my flower arrangement with a cottontail butt pom-pom that I kind of definitely want to do that. Like I kind of always do a flower arrangement with a bunny butt. I think that's why I love the bunny butt welcome sign. I just love that. And then I did pick these up, these candles, and there is kind of a crazy story. Okay, so I think they smell amazing. Their glass is actually gorgeous. And I did buy all four of them. There's a, a lavender one also, because I thought that they would be really nice in my Easter themed, you know, displays. They're pastels, especially the lavender one, which I broke. Then when I broke it, I put it in my green um, little pot that I use as like a, you know, it's kind of like my St. Patty's Day decor. And it smelled so good that I was like, wow, I can't believe I broke that one. That one was the nicest. 
can't remember what it was, but it smelled really nice. So then the yellow one is lemon tart. It smells incredible. I'm in love with it. The, um, this clear glass with the like pinkish candle inside of it is sweet peach, which is funny because the candle inside is not really peach. It's more pink than peach. Wish I could really show that. And then this white milky glass, it looks like milk glass. It's so beautiful. It's called strawberry shortcake. I bought two of these because I think that this glass is gorgeous. This is my favorite. I would like literally, when these are done, refill them with wax and make them over. That's how, they're so pretty. They really look like milk glass or you can put them on the pedestal and they actually look like vintage. They look vintage. I love this candle holder. It's really pretty. Well, I love it. Like you could glue it to the thing and make it look like a vintage candle. So I definitely bought two of this color, but I broke the, I broke the fourth one and um, I have repurchased it at this point, but who knows where it is. So when I finally do get to that, I will be like, remember those candles and you guys will know, but I, I did, I broke it. I broke it, bringing it into the house. And I do that a lot. I break a lot of things. You guys, you just don't, I, I just am very, I always, and the Dollar Tree bags basically, cause I sometimes buy bags there, even though I have a million shopping bags. Sometimes I go to the Dollar Tree unexpectedly. I'm not expecting to go. If I find a new Dollar Tree, I go in. And so that's actually how that happened with those. And I bought their paper bags and they broke. And then these were a wish list item. I think they're so cool. They're ceramic. They're really heavy. Um, I love Faith Over Fear. I absolutely love that one. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. You have to take leaf, leaps of faith in life to achieve anything you want. And I love uh, Love Blooms here. I think that's also really beautiful. And um, Trust Your Purpose. I always say that. And I love all of those. There is another one. It's very farmhouse. It says Blessed. Uh, I opted not to get that one. I think that's, one the, that's probably the one everyone loves. But I, I passed on it. I, I think Trust Your Purpose is my favorite, and I probably will put that in with my books in my coffee area, and um, I would like to put this with my plants when they start to grow on my windowsill, and Faith Over Fear, I don't know, maybe in the bedroom. I just love this color. I love this color so much, and I love what it says, and uh, we do need a lot of faith these days. Life is getting a little crazy again, so... I like to keep these positive things. Then I did find these, and I've had these for a while, actually. I'm just realizing now, like, geez, Marina, you should have hauled this, like, a long time ago. This bag has, like, two different hauls in it, I even think. I don't know. When I'm fighting to get things away from the dogs, I don't. everything is very mixed up. But I did pick up Home Sweet Home because it has birds in it, and... I actually might give this to a friend of mine who's going to be moving because I think that I think she needs that. So I'm going to give that to her. And this one is also going with my plants. So water and weight. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this one. This one is mine. I'm obsessed with it. And the love blooms here. I'm going to put all the positive affirmations I can around my plants. And only my plants. The ones my husband plants, he can put his own affirmations with because his grow perfectly fine. <laughs> so I'm going to face them towards my plants. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not really going to do that. We're all going to eat them, but I'm going to mess with them. And then this one is Catch Me by the Sea. And I bought it because I want to bring it to my new home. And that's kind of like my positive affirmation towards getting to move. So I think these are amazing for a buck. How cute is that? Catch me by the sea. Love it. Oh, and there was another one, coffee one. Something coffee, but I don't, I mean, how many coffee? I have a very little coffee area. I can't buy everything in the world for my coffee area. <laughs> then I won't have a spot to put my mug. So I passed on that one. I do love the I have the coffee because adulting is hard that I look at in my coffee area and my little 
turquoise light up coffee light and I think that's enough for me but um I love these love them love them they're really well made it's like a real chunk of wood I think is that real wood yeah I think it's real wood and then this part is MDF these are so nice and the galvanized metal they're very very cute little signs and um I'm sure you guys have already seen the coffee one if I have a picture, I think I did take a picture of it to insert it. And I did take a picture of the blessed one to insert it in the video, just in case you guys haven't seen it. But I would be really shocked if you guys haven't seen it because these are practically antiques already. <laughs> so <laughs> in the Dollar Tree world, these are like ancient history, but I can't help it. I'm a little behind schedule. And then I did pick these up. Live, love, eat. Uh, because I absolutely love the old-fashioned utensils. Oh, that's what the woods, the wooden ones that I got from that party that we went to, the fancy schmancy party, the wooden utensils had that kind of carving in it. So, of course, I had to make them into um, garden decorations. <laughs> Even though my plants never grew, my seedlings never grew, but they were so cutely embellished, and they were very properly labeled, but they didn't grow. But this year, my plants are going to grow. You guys will see. So, live, love, eat. I bought four of these. Um, I think I might give them as gifts. I'm not sure. I just couldn't pass them up. I think they're really nice, and so I had to buy these because they actually had a lot of them. And a lot of the time I only find like one placemat and um, maybe I'll use them in the summer outside. I don't know, I just had to buy them, I love them. I like to change my placemats up. It's something new to look at. I mean, I'm home a lot. It makes me happy to look at new things. So I just pick them up. They don't take a lot of space up. They get easily cleaned. And if I'm sick of the other set, I could put it away right in here, which is where I put all that kind of stuff, and put these out for a little while and then swap them around. Um, nothing exciting. They didn't have the deodorant that I like, um, which is like a roll-on. I can't think of it right now, but it's like they didn't have it. And I've been to like a few Dollar Trees and I can't find it. So I picked these both up because I don't even know if I'm going to like it, but this one says zero simply clean deodorant um, lady speed stick. It's free of aluminum, which I have tried multiple times to do and it doesn't work on me, but I'm going to try this one. But if I find that I smell horrific wearing this aluminum free deodorant, I decided that I would buy this backup one so that I didn't stink since I'm actually out of deodorant. So... I do think that it is kind of amazing that they have um, aluminum-free deodorant at the Dollar Tree. It's not that easy to find it everywhere, and it's not cheap. And it's 1.4 ounce of deodorant that is aluminum and dye and paraben-free. That's pretty awesome. Maybe this brand will work for me. I've tried many, and they have not. <laughs> and um, the Invisible Dry is also a dollar at 1.4 ounce. Obviously, obviously, it's a dollar, but it's also 1.4 ounce. So powder fresh. I mean, it's just, I figured I'd mention it in case you guys are looking for aluminum free deodorant. That's a big deal. Then this I've already been using. I bought three of them is lovely. It's by Qtex. It's deodorizing. Um, but it's also like pepperminty. It's foot cream. I, the fact that it's deodorizing is because it's mint smelling, but it's so nice. It's like thick and it smells like candy canes. I literally love putting minty stuff on my feet and putting, the, which is probably why I bought those Snugadoo socks because the minute I saw these, I just wanted to put socks on my feet and put lots of mint and just get under the covers. That's like what makes me super happy. And I never like to wear socks anywhere but in my bed. And then I take them off like 20 minutes later. Once my feet are good and moisturized, I'm ready for sleeping because then they cool down and then I stick them out of the blankets. I don't know. I have like a whole crazy ritual. I did pick up a couple of these. I think they're so cool for outside. Do you guys see how cute that is? They're called, they're just called carrot steaks from the Easter collection, but these are so nice for putting in your planters. So I picked up a couple of them. I love them. They're so, so cute. They're like industrially heavy duty metal. I think these might actually make it to a second year. Very cute. And then I had to get this because I love clip frames. 
to put stuff like this into. Like, if I decide to cut this sign up, maybe I'll want to put this in here or put this in here, which I probably will. But I don't know what I'll put in here, but I do love taking apart Dollar Tree um, signs and putting like something like that in the clip and just popping it into my mantle. So I definitely had passed on this quite a few times. And then I was like, why didn't I buy that? That's very Eastery. I need to get it. So I did pick it up. I'm not sure which sign I'm taking apart, but one of them is going in there. And then, um, what else? Oh, this. I picked this up because I want to make an Easter tree with like moss and the eggs, the cool glitter eggs. And this is actually possibly something that you guys might need for your driveways or whatever if you live in a busy area. It's a safety cone for a dollar. But I'm making an Easter tree out of this one. And then the next things that I found were, one, this cool wet and wild palette. It is um, Sweet as Candy E381B. And it is the kind of colors that I love. These are exactly the colors that I like to wear on my eyes. I picked up three of these uh, just for me, actually, because I do have a lot of eyeshadow right now, but I like these for me, so I picked it up. And I do love these three packs. I like this type of eyeshadow by Wet n Wild when it has a like a white light color. I usually end up loving that pack and I have a feeling I'm going to love this one. Uh, Walking in the Clouds, I think, is the one that I loved before this, but I have a funny feeling this might be my new favorite eyeshadow collection. So I picked up three. And then, strangely enough, because this has like this nice pinkish, burgundy-ish kind of color, these are nice colors. I found by Flower which is always a pleasure. I only found two of these and I actually just bought one because I don't know, um, you know, how much eyeliner do I need, but um, it's aubergine, which is like a dark, dark plum color, which will look really nice with this. So I'm kind of excited about the proposition of that. I, I like doing eyeliner with eyeliner that's not completely black a lot of the time. So... I was really happy to find that. That's really cool. And then I found something super cool that I was really looking for for a while by LA Colors. These um, loose face and body shimmer. Shimmer like a star. So cool. I love these. These are like loose, like highlighter. You know, you could do whatever you want with them, but I absolutely love that. You can use it as eyeshadow. You could use it as highlighter. You can use it on your chest area. Um, you could do whatever you want with this, but I just love things like this. I really do, and I do use them a lot. So um, one is called Magical Dust, and that's the pinkish one. And the other one is called Gold Dust, and that is like the yellowish one. And they're very similar to the colors that like a couple weeks ago I hauled... Um, by LA Colors, a highlighter, like compact, that was really nice too. They're basically the exact same colors as those, but in shimmer loose form. So I kind of love that. I, I don't know, but I'm sure that I'm sure that I'm gonna use them. That's the bottom line. I absolutely love stuff like this. So last but not least, yeah, that's this is last but not least in this haul. I did pick up a bunch of these because one, I wanted to mention that these would be good for if let's say you're doing your bunnies, you can actually use these to um, cut out for your bunny for like the wooden cut. Oh, I did get this too. I got another chick because I think that I thought I didn't have it, but I did. So I picked this up. Very cute. The wooden cutouts from the Easter section. But um. I was thinking that this would be good to stick on to the bunny one of this in case you wanted to make them furry bunnies. But I actually bought these. I bought I bought 10 of them. I've been using them because I absolutely love cleaning my floor with these. I cannot say enough about them. If you have laminate flooring and you have a really hard time keeping your laminate flooring from feeling greasy, um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have that 
problem. In my old home, I had hardwood floors. In this house, I thought this was hardwood floor and they told me it was hardwood floor, but it's like some sort of Pergo hybrid. It's actually Pergo, which is supposed to be better, they told us in the end, but it's not. I do not like it. It does not clean easy. And when you clean it with a lot of chemicals, like I had to because of the dog, who's finally starting to use the wee-wee pad, um, it started to get really greasy. So then I did all this research and I found out that just use hot, hot water and a little bit of vinegar and a, a microfiber. So I went and got a lot of these so that they could be brand spanking new. And I've been doing that with my floors and they're starting to get really clean again. And I just bought 10 so that I can wash the floor and just dump them into one of my laundry baskets. And I wash them separately because um, I put bleach and everything on them because they get gross. But yeah, these are amazing. So if you guys have not tried the Dollar Tree, um, this fuzzy one for only, if you're only using it for crafting and you've never used it to clean your laminate floor, give it a shot. It's really a great product. And actually, I forgot to show you guys this. Last but not least, I actually bought myself one of these because I just am like, oh, I'm going to need that in Florida. So let me get it. I don't know if I'll ever wear it. I think I will wear it. I think it's cute, actually. I think I'll wear it. I think it's very cute. And it kind of looks like I work at Burger King, but I don't mind. <laughs> I look like the movie Home Fries right now. You guys remember that movie? In that movie? I don't know. I never... Yeah, it's like the movie Home Fries. But I could see myself wearing it by the pool in Florida. I like it. It's red and it was $1 and it's going to protect my skin. So I, it's pretty cool actually. It's cotton. It's a nice, I'm ripping my hair out now. That's okay. Oh my gosh. But uh, I really love the color of it. That's why I had to get it. I think it's a really cool color for a buck. Definitely. I just have to figure out how I'm going to wear things like this. But uh, I do have big hats, but I think that this is kind of practical to have. Yeah, that's it. That's everything I have in this haul. Um, I did try to speed through this haul a little bit because the boys are hungry. They've come down and looked at me at this point. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Definitely leave comments down below for any of the questions that I asked or anything that you're wondering about, and I will be more than happy to answer. Um, stay tuned for the... Um, Oh, I never gave you guys the word. Okay, so here is the thing. The word is going to be Dollar Tree Addict. So people that haven't watched the video aren't going to know because they're going to be like, oh, that's the name of the channel. They're not going to know. But it's not going to be um, like when you reply, it, it has to be you writing the word Dollar Tree Addict. Like I'm a Dollar Tree Addict or you sure are a Dollar Tree Addict. You guys get it, right? But people that don't watch the video, they're not going to know the secret word because they're not going to figure it out. So that's it. Dollar Tree Addict is the passcode into entering the giveaway. And stay tuned for the short video that's going to be coming up. Um, I just made my hair look crazy. But stay tuned, stay tuned for the short video that's going to be coming up revealing all of the stuff that's going to be in the giveaway. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the channel. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't done so. I would love to have you as a permanent member of the Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict family. And remember, shh, Dollar Tree Addict. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.